Okay, so we're doing a limiting reagent problem. These are the two things that are given in the problem, and then here's the equation, and this is what we're looking for, for the amount of water that we can create. So, first thing you do is you convert the givens into what you're looking for, the water. So we would go grams on the bottom, moles on the top, and it's one mole for 44.03 grams. We get this number from the molecular mass from the periodic table. All right, so now we want to put moles on the bottom here. Oh. And moles of what we're looking for on the top. Now to figure out the numbers that go here, you have to look at the balanced equation. It's whatever the coefficient is. So this one's four, so it's gonna be a four here, and then we have a one here, and that's where that comes from. All right, next thing we go moles to grams. So we have 18.02 grams H2O. Again, I'm getting this from the periodic table. And when you do all that math, you'll get 8.19 grams of H2O. And again, you're multiplying 5 times 4 times 18.02 and then dividing it by 44.03. That will give you that number right there. We have to do the exact same thing for the oxygen. So we have 30 2.00 from the molecular mass, one mole, O2. And on the bottom, we're going to put moles of O2. On the top, what we're looking for, moles of the water. And we get these numbers again from here. So it's water is four, so put a four here. Oxygen is five, so we put a five there. And down here, it's one mole. H2O, we need to get it in grams, and this is going to be the same thing as above. 18.02 grams H2O equals 2.25 grams H2O. All right, now this is where you have to ask yourself what these numbers mean. Well, this number is smaller than this number, obviously. What that means is this is the limiting amount of water we can make. It's the lower number. So this is how much water we actually produce, all right? The next question is, what's the limiting reagent? The limiting reagent is whatever's connected. So whatever started this 2.25, which happens to be the oxygen here. So this is our LR, our limiting reagent, which then means the opposite is gonna be our excess, meaning we didn't, we didn't use up all of um, this propane, uh, I'm sorry, not propane that we have here. So, the next thing we're going to do, we need to figure out how much of this is left over, all right? To do that, you start with the limiting reagent, or you can start with the amount of product that you actually make. Either of these conversions will give you the same number to figuring out this. So we take, let's say, the 5.00 grams of oxygen, convert it to moles of oxygen, so we're gonna do the same thing as above, 32.00, grams O2, one mole O2. Now we're converting this into the excess, so on the bottom we're gonna have, again, five moles of oxygen. On the top, we're gonna convert this into this guy here, moles C3H8, and if we look at the balance equation, that's a one, so we get one mole of it, and now we wanna turn it into grams of it. So we're going to have one mole of C3H8. And then on the top, we're going to have grams of the C3H8, 44.03 C3H8. This is going to give us how much we actually needed of um, of this right here. So I don't have the calculation for it, so I need to grab a calculator and plug it in. So we go 5 times 44.03 equals divided by 32 divided by 5, and that gives us 1.3, how 
many sig figs? Three sig figs. Three, eight grams C3H8. So that's how much of this we're actually going to <clears throat> use up. So we started with five. We're only going to use this amount to figure out how much is left over. You just subtract them. So you take the 5.00 grams, and I got the five from up here. Subtract the two. So we're going to do five, subtraction eight. We get 3.62 grams of C3H8 is the excess. That's how much is left over. So all these things I can ask on the test. I'm going to ask how much is left over. I'm going to ask what the limiting reagent is, how much product you can actually produce, and in general, what is the excess molecule.